I did not see that coming. At times, our names are too Asian to ever be on this. There's an arch castle and art gallery. The Natural History Gallery had specimen of mammals, reptiles, birds, fish, and insects all on display, as well as geology and fossils. The bird gallery was spectacular, and I thought it looked like a 3D book with birds grouped according to families and displayed in their natural habitats. At first, I was so stunned at how realistic the birds looked. And then a staff member told me that these are not actually fake birds, but the skins of dead birds that had been prepared and preserved for the museum display, the art of which is called bird taxidermy. Now that took me quite a while to wrap my head around. If you are a budding zoologist, this is definitely the place for you. So come and check it out. Beetles, oh my god. You guys know Charles Darwin loved collecting beetles. He had a huge beetle collection. And many feel that his keen observation skills that he built, you know, collecting all these beetles actually helped him formulate his evolution theory, natural selection theory. And it all started with him being a very, very keen observant and naturalist who was always curious about the world around him. So cool. So this is the painting that they're talking about. And then this little blurb on the side talks about how if you rotate the painting 90 degrees and you take an x-ray then you see this and they show how um initially the artist was painting something like this and he kind of chose to like scrap the design and then recycled and reused the same board for making that painting it just makes me wonder like it's such a cool discovery but who thinks of taking an x-ray of a painting improvements in methods of for example, technical fields like science, like x-rays and infrared and everything can be used to aid understanding of artworks. That's a very interesting intersection. Painting, and this is a painting of the same scenario and one is done by the teacher and the student. And I've been given the task of guessing which is which. This is the teacher? Okay, I actually kind of like that better. I just feel it looks more brighter, but I know that's because of the lighting. Are there any technical details? If you do look closer, like, the shading is as generally darker than that one. Yeah, but like even the details, like look at look at these like boat details and like a... This part was better on this painting, but yeah. you look at the clouds on this one. Oh yeah, yeah. The clouds I think are more nice on. more sophistication. Is that because you know that's a teacher? Maybe. <laughs> Biases. You need to have a double blind test. And I learned yeah. this in PBS, you know, something you Same, I learned in psychology as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, On the sofa. And now we don't want to get up. <laughs> so tired and so comfy. Babe, <laughs> what was your favorite part about the museum? Oh, <laughs> the toilet <laughs> and the sofa. <laughs> I feel like the human skeleton. Of it course, medic. Of the trauma of my corpse. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the, the, the cool part is I can point out like every name mm, of every single book. Getting knowledge coming to use. I, I didn't know I was <laughs> yeah. almost every single book. Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> What was your most favorite part about the museum? Comparing the two paintings between student oh, and teacher. That was, that was nice, yeah. You know, I think I liked the natural history one the best. Yeah. That was really cool. And like the uh, the real birds. Yeah. Like, yeah. that was insane. It's kind of mind blowing, yeah. Yeah, mind blowing, that's the word. It's my favorite ever chocolate brand, and I found some. Yeah, such a beautiful store. One of my most favorite chocolate brands. They do amazing. <laughs> Vegan chocolates. I have the hiccups. This is their amazing vegan range. I am getting a custom library made for myself. The staff have been super friendly and he just talked me through all of these flav flavors. One, two, three, four, five. That is gonna be my library today. So I was feeling quite tired, but then we went into the Montezuma's chocolate shop and that just brightened up my entire mood. 
I met a, a salesperson there who was literally the sweetest person ever and he was vegan as well so we were kind of bonding over it for a while and he was giving me suggestions on like which chocolates to buy and everything and then he suggested like a stall at the marketplace but by the time we I, we ended up like checking out of the chocolate store oh the reason we got delayed is because Montezuma had a really nice uh, marketing strategy where they had like giant cardboard um, chocolate boxes and if you like pose with it and post it on Instagram um, tagging their account you get 10% off so my friend and I were getting photos of that and it delayed us and then by the time we went to the marketplace at 5 all the stalls are shut down and I I had this one stall in the middle of the marketplace that I really wanted to go to some falafel stall and that was closed by the time we went there so it was quite sad but I found an Indian stall and got some samosa chaat which I'm quite excited to eat we still have to figure out some dinner things but we're walking back to our accommodation now because we're so tired so we're gonna just chill there for half an hour figure out where we want to go for dinner and then either order in or come back again to the center of town our accommodation is quite a nice distance from the center of town so thankfully it's not too far as well we ended up just ordering thai takeout and watching a bollywood movie Red or black? Red. Huh. Uh, lower. Lower. Oh. in between Oh! <gasps> Diamonds. Unlucky. Fine, I haven't gotten it. That's funny. That's funny. That's Good funny. morning! It's day 3 in Norwich and we're leaving today in like literally 10 minutes. I thought let me do a quick tour of this apartment. I really should have done it when we first came because obviously now it's less neat than we came. But I just want to show some of my favorite aspects here. The entrance, there's just some storage areas for shoes and to hang a coat and Welcome to this beautiful wallpaper that runs all around the house and it's so gorgeous. I mean, I wouldn't be lying if I said that this is why I picked the Airbnb one. It's so gorgeous. This is the bathroom right at the entrance. We only have one bathroom and there's a washing machine. Funny story is one of our flatmates got all his laundry loaded to just loaded with his washing machine because he didn't want to pay for laundry at college, which we all found so funny, but also Loki really genius. And then we have this series of like narrow but winding but carpeted stairs leading up to the second floor where we have the rooms and the common room this is the bedroom so one double bed in here and that's the living room <laughs> hello hi yep and this is a sofa bed <laughs> another more beautiful wallpaper don what did you say this was when we first came that thing that people used to get from <laughs> but it's actually a lamp oh johan is demonstrating <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice aesthetic mirror i love the colors in this house this dark blue here and this is the kitchen there's actually quite a lot of things in here but oh the host left us some really nice treats Microwave, sink, TV, savory amenities. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Jono. Love the place. We had a lot of fun watching the TV and eating the snacks too. It's also great that there are <laughs> savory amenities available. So many actually. Wait, was that that flap always there? No, it's like in this one, you newly developed. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> at this rate, it'll be just like. <laughs> They're really nice jeans, though. Oh, but why don't you just make it into shorts? Because that's what, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Have to cut it there or something. Ooh. Oh, oh why don't you make it like so the lengths are not the same, right? Then it will look more <laughs> aesthetic, <laughs> fashionable. Yeah. Oh, you could use it for cosplay, and then you create a movie. She's leaving the house. <laughs> harder, babe. Harder. Pull it harder. <laughs> bye Fingy. Bye bye Airbnb. Hi cuties. <laughs> I like how all of you turned. <laughs> That's the self love we need. <laughs> Back to drizzling today. Fingy was just saying it was so nice yesterday. Oh my god, look your bucket hat matches my top. Couple go. <laughs> Hiya. Oh hello. How are you enjoying your thrift? Thrift shop. <laughs> Guys, I highly recommend you all visit charity shops in the UK. 
they're re really a great concept so people come and give their clothes here mostly for free and they are they sell them for a really cheap price you see their clothes for like two to five pounds more at the most and they're such good design such good quality and all the money that you pay goes directly to the charity so right now we're at the british heart foundation so if you shop here almost all of the money goes directly to british heart foundation and it's less wastage of clothes because all of these are secondhand clothes they're doing good for the environment as well it's ethical because you're not like engaging more in fast fashion cheap prices for you and you're doing charity so it's really like all the good things in one place almost the entire wardrobe is now from like charity shops and thrift stores and oh my god look at these pants <gasps> yeah i thought you were like oh, look at that skirt gorgeous oh babe i think i'm gonna get this it's really convenient that they usually have the sizes written on the hangers so you can just kind of look wherever you think your size is and for all of you book lovers they have so many books as well super cheap prices really good condition and quality look at that books for one pound insane yuhan is a happy little medic in his natural habitat yuhan what are you reading through flipping through uh anatomy of course yuhan is our model medic <laughs> Let's just ignore that question. <laughs> so, okay, fine. You're, you're, you're one of my favorite medics. <laughs> Shopping done? Satisfied? Oh, look yeah. at her! <laughs> okay, we're walking to the train station now. Thankfully, it stopped raining, so it's nice to walk. Yay! We're gonna have lunch here. Hopefully at Cambridge, yeah, because we're pretty full. We met a really sweet couple outside the British Heart Foundation. They're an adorable eight-year-old. <laughs> Lab Goldie Cross. <laughs> what is it called? A, a Labadoodle. Yeah, right? No, but Dudo is like Kudo. Oh, like, right, sorry. Yeah. Lab, lab Retriever. Lab yeah, I don't know. Lab Whatever, a cross between. Golden Lab. <laughs> a Golden Lab. <laughs> golden Door. <laughs> they were so sweet. We were chatting to them about our uni. Turns out, like, one of the ladies was working at is working at Imperial College. Sweet people, chatty, friendly. We love them. Yes, finally we reached North Station. I did the silly mistake of overpacking for this trip and the bag I'm carrying is a bit heavy. So I get really out of breath just holding this bag and lugging it around. It was really cold when we left, so just in case I did pack like like an extra hoodie and like some layers, but we didn't really need it. I guess it's better to be prepared than to like freeze. <laughs> so I don't think I will get it, but I could have definitely like not got along my laptop or like just reused a set of clothes but it's okay we learn being better tourists with every trip so what's the next trip baby back to my i think we should do a trip every holiday yes we should mm. so i'm currently the bag protector as the rest of them go and get some drinks for the train the train we're taking and it's here i used this time to just write down my expenses for the trip Yuhan, what was your most favorite part about the trip? Favorite part about the trip? Mm -hmm. Like the castle to be fair. Yeah, that was nice. Mm. Like the animal displays as mm. well as the different paintings. Mm. Skeleton. Mm. Skeleton. <laughs> Medic's favorite. How about you, my babe? I think it's the people I travel with. Oh. <laughs> so basically, a, you love me. That's the model answer. <laughs> model answer. <laughs> Mm. To be fair, I think the food. The food? Yeah, the food was really good. Yeah, every place we tried is like... Yeah, we actually didn't have any bad food yeah. experiences. I was just gonna say like, um, the wallpaper. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, the people. I think it was a great getaway trip after exams. We're all officially first year graduates. And now it's just like, I think it's a nice, like, chill town to explore. Like, mm. we were not like, packed with things to see. Mm. Kind of at our own pace. It's quite relaxing. I feel really like peaceful and grateful, blessed. I think it's a really like lovely bunch. Like, lovely bunch. <laughs> lovely bunch. Lovely bunch of people. Yeah. You know, even though it was rainy, I feel like it was a different kind of vibe the first day. It's like, because it's not like pouring rain, so it's like yeah, it, it was can just still drizzling. Walk. Yeah. yeah, we got a bit damp, but not like drenched. <laughs> oh my God, Jinx! <laughs> Bye! Thanks for joining us on the trip. See you later! <laughs> Alright guys, you should definitely come here to Norwich. Sorry. And you should also definitely uh, like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>